for this video, I want to talk about technical analysis. I've been getting a lot of uh, questions on what it actually is, what it's about, how can it help you uh, in your in your trades, in your buying and selling. So there, there were a couple of questions asking about how I plot my support and resistance or how do I know if that support and resistance is relatively strong or how can you plot uh, and know if that area of support is something that's strong. This reminded me of the characteristics of what uh, a breakout is. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I create new content about the stock market, about the bond market, about investments in general. Because I just have one goal. I want you guys to be financially free. I want you guys to take advantage of one of the greatest times to invest. So enjoy the rest of the video. So this is part of our continuous videos on stock investing to help you uh, make the most out of your money, to help you uh, reach your goals of financial freedom. So for this video, I want to talk about technical analysis. I've been getting a lot of uh, questions on what it actually is, what it's about, how can it help you uh, in, your tr in your trades, in your buying and selling. So just a snippet of it, just a quick snapshot of what it actually means. Technical analysis is basically you looking at past prices. It has nothing to do about the company, about the fundamentals, how big the company is growing or or do, doing as a whole, but it has everything to do with uh, the price action of the stock. Technical analysis also talks about that the price discounts everything, meaning everything you need to know about the stock is found in the technicals, meaning uh, it's neither undervalued or overvalued. If I say Jollibee at 220 pesos, it actually means that the market is believing that at 220 pesos, that's the uh, exact value of Jollibee at that given point in time. So wh what can you get from technicals? From technical analysis, you will know that there are specific areas where people believe it's worth buying and it forms a good area of support. What does a support mean? As, as what I told you, more buyers in previous videos uh, bring prices up. So if you find an area where there's a support range, it actually will help you know and figure out where you can actually buy uh, that stock. So uh, what I actually teach people in our Stock Smart seminars is to buy at the support. Why do you buy at the support? Because if you buy at the support, it gives you an ideology that a lot of people are buying there. They think it's cheap. If they buy there and they think it's cheap, chances are it will bounce and it will go up. And the opposite naman is at the resistance. At the resistance level, you have particular areas where people think it's expensive, it's too high, or a lot of people start selling. When a lot of people start selling, guess what? Stocks go down. So you can, based on that alone, you can already form a strategy of buying and selling. You you buy when a lot of people are buying near support, and you sell where a lot of people believe it's a psychologically high point already, which is your resistance. So. What's amazing about technicals is, that's why I do it over and over and over again, is you don't need to look at hype, you don't need to look at speculation, but you can just look at the charts for what it is. You can trade and analyze stocks in less than a minute, and you, you, you will be able to make a calculated and logical decision based in all of, on all of that. Uh, there's more, no, there's more to uh, discuss about it, but I'll try to make more videos. But if you have time, join us for our seminar, Stock Smarts, what, in whatever city you are from. So I hope these videos would help you to trade well, trade strong, and trade smart. This is Marvin Germo. More videos from Batanes. Hi everyone, good morning from Nami Island here in South Korea where we continue to make videos on the basics of stock trading and investing with the goal and the heart to help you reach your goals of financial freedom. So now I'm going to try to answer a uh, couple of questions that have been sent via my website marvingirmo.com. No? So there, there were a couple of questions asking about how I plot my support and resistance or how do I know if that support and resistance is relatively strong or how can you plot uh, and know if that area of support is something that's strong. You have to remember this though, uh, when it comes to technical analysis, it's not just a science or uh, a mathematical model on how you uh, plot. No, it's also an art in a sense that there are it's, it also shows more about who you are as a person. It shows your risk tolerances, your time frame, your timeline, and the gains that you're willing to make. So what does that mean? 
the way I would draw it is it would be different from the way you would draw it because you already have preconceived biases on how you plot your timelines as well and the risk and the uh, object of entry on where you want to come in and out of a stock. So how do you plot it? Sit, just, just look at it from a concept of uh, market psychology. What do I mean by this? Of course, the support is an area where there's a lot of buying that's happening. A support is an area where there's more buyers than sellers. So try to find a portion in the history of the chart that you are looking at where as the stock start to drop down, it, it forms some sort of a support range. When when a stock starts to go down, it forms some sort of area where the stock uh, cease to go down anymore why does it cease to go down because there are people who have started to buy the stock you have to remember when it comes to stock trading more buyers bring the prices up so it hits a level of support when the stock goes down but because there's a level of buying there buyers investors prevent the stock from going down as well so please remember this buyers want to buy no sellers want to sell high so the fact that it does not fall anymore it means that buyers are okay with that price already and they're uh they're willing and they believe that price is relatively cheap already so when people think it's cheap it the stock or whatever market you're trying to analyze will fail to go down already so look for that historical area look for that area in the past portions of the chart where the stock fails to go down then look for another point, another area in the chart where the stock does not go down anymore. So what, what do I mean by this? One area plotted to another area where the stock does not go down, plot them together, connect those points together, and it will form a line. That line can be your support level. So uh, how does this work? The more touches it has when you start drawing a line, when the stock goes down, up, down, up, down, up, it, when it when it goes down and it touches a certain point, touches a certain line, and, and it fails to, uh, to go down anymore, plot those two together, plot those lines together, and that will be your support. The more touches it has, the stronger the support is. The more touches it has historically, the greater the ability of that stock to actually bounce from it. Uh, and the longer the support line is, if that support line hasn't dropped that uh, range for years already, the stronger and the larger the sense of the sentence that you have that it will actually bounce. So please remember this. The longer the time frame, the stronger the support is. The shorter the time frame, the weaker the support is. So that's how you can gauge your trades as well. Uh, the longer you plot it, the stronger it would be. The, the shorter you plot it, the weaker it would be. So what does that mean as well? There's a bigger chance that it may break down if the support is weak, if the support is weaker, the time frame is weaker, but there's a bigger chance that it will just bounce if you have a longer time frame for that support range. So please remember this also. A support is not just a specific uh, price point. It's a specific range. So it's not just, say, 10 pesos, it's probably 9.9, 9.8, .9 .9 10, 10.1, 10.2 because it's it's a specific range. Those who use support and resistance uh, in their trades you know, are what you call people who do it, uh, who do range trading. That's why it's not specific price, but it's a specific range where you could possibly uh, go through it and go through your your trades as well. So that's it. Look for Look for areas in the past. Connect those areas where the market or the stock does not go down. Plot those points together. It forms a line. Areas where it does not go down, it forms a strong support. As it forms a strong support, that's where you start buying. All right? So that's it. Those I just really buy close to the support. And that's what I do over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It may be moving averages. It may be Fibonacci. But all of those things are just based on support and resistance. So plot your supports well. Look for areas where there's a strong support. Look for areas where the market does not drop anymore. Plot those lines together. And that's your support area. That's your support line. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. More videos from South Korea. I hope this helps you. God bless you all. Hi guys, good morning. We're still here in Iceland. We're in the southern part of uh, the country. As what my wife said, we're in the Golden Circle Tour. Uh, in my back is a geyser. Uh, for those who don't know uh, what a geyser is, uh, there, it's... It has boiling water at the bottom, uh, at the very, very uh, low part of the ground. No? And as it boils so strong and hard, uh, every six and seven minutes, 
uh, water starts gushing out. Our tour guide told us it's like 300 degrees uh, Celsius in, in boiling temperature. So uh, that's something very, very hot. And the unique quality of it is it stays in liquid form even if it's uh, at 300 degrees Celsius as well. Uh, what does this have to do with, with the stock market? Uh, while, while our tour guide was going through stuff, no, uh, he, this reminded me of the characteristics of what uh, a breakout is. Uh, a breakout is a price movement through an identified uh, level of resistance. But when, but when a breakout happens, the previous uh, resistance now becomes the new support. Uh, the thing about that is uh, as the stock breaks out from the resistance, the resistance ha has a small opening with a large amount of pressure where the buyers overwhelm the sellers which uh, allows the stock to push up and move up on a very very high uh, speed so for those who are new to the stock market this becomes a buying opportunity for you when stocks start to break out when stocks uh, approach the resistance but the resistance gets overwhelmed and you see a large amount of uh, buying take place you would see the stock starts start to go up so uh, this normally happens from a news perspective or a uh, sentiment standpoint when there's a lot of either game changers that would happen uh, mergers and acquisitions uh, better than expected results better earnings uh, company acquires another company or there was a negative item that suddenly was resolved so there's the gazer there's that's how high it was no it erupts uh fast and suddenly so you see how strong uh, the movement was so that's how it is that's how a breakout normally works uh you see over there that's how a breakout normally works it's strong it's fast it zooms up it causes prices to go up on a very very fast duration like what you saw on the case here at the back i'm not sure if it was as clear in the camera but as you see there's strong surge strong movement a strong uh strong strong surge of the water caused it to zoom up and that's what happens during a breakout uh the thing about breakouts is people uh don't want to buy it because it's high because it's expensive uh, and you have to understand this that's what happens when you trade in technicals that's what happens also when you trade uh, breakouts it normally will be high but you are not buying it because it's high but you are buying it because it's the new support because people are willing to buy it higher and be and because from a technical aspect then the resistance has transitioned into a market where there's more uh, buyers ready so if a stock moves from 8 to 10 8 is your support 10 is your resistance uh, should the stock go up and break out from that level uh, 10 now becomes your new support and 10 becomes also a buying opportunity for you so what makes uh, a breakout unique is that uh, as compared to other as compared to other price ranges uh, you can also buy at the support but since it's the new support you have a large surge of buying happening uh in those in those areas so that's it guys uh, i just got reminded of how a gazer can actually be connected to uh support and resistances i just got reminded that uh there are certain things in in life and in nature that we can uh relate when we trade the market so oh, I, i'm a big fan of trading breakouts i'm a big fan of uh of buying stocks because of, during breakouts because it has uh, momentum attached to it what's nice when the stock has momentum it, it zooms up and you get to ride uh, the pressure up as well so uh, i know this is not this isn't for everyone because uh, buying stocks during breakouts also uh, has a higher degree of risk as compared to buying it uh, when it's retracing down a support level but uh, with practice and if you do it over and over and over again and as you've seen uh, in the reference of the psei uh, once we started breaking out from 8.1, uh, 8.5 became the new target price. Once we started breaking out of 8.5, uh, 8.9 became the new target price. Once we, If we uh, st should have stayed above or we, we stay above 8.9, next target price would be 9.3. So uh, that's how you can do it. it the, the, the resistance when it starts breaking out from that can serve as your uh, next target price as well. So that's it for now. We're still here in Iceland. Uh, more videos, more basic videos to uh, help you trade the markets with confidence. This is my wife who enjoyed watching it twice and she's now shivering. Yes? Freezing. Freezing? How yeah. cold is it? I can't feel my fingers. You can't feel your fingers. How cold is it? How cold is it? Negative eight. Do you, negative eight. Do you want to touch the boiling water? It's 
this way. Yeah? I don't think I'd feel it. You, you no. wouldn't feel it, but it's 300 degrees. My fingers are numb. Alright, so say goodbye to everyone. I hope this video helps you trade well. And goodbye everyone from Iceland. See you all again soon. Thank <laughs> you.